So, good afternoon, folks. Got all my dishes washed, but then my knees wore out, and so I'd planned on trying to do a little more floor today, but may not get done. I've not really walked the yard in several days and took a close look at the flowers or anything, so I thought I'd walk out and I caught myself trying to watch for the mail lady, but I don't know if she's ran yet or not. And it is Friday the 21st, and my Christmas trees are looking nice. Mother Nature is decorating. Some years past, I've taken the blooms and put them in my different stemware. That was before I had the house fire and, and all, but I would flow to my collected lead crystal, and I would float the blooms from this and pansies that I had and other different flowers on wine glasses and other stemware, champagne glasses, though I didn't have a whole lot of those because I really don't care a whole lot for champagne. The one with the yellow leaves there, that's a wild black cherry. And uh, they use the, you can take and make a, a tea out of the bark of it. And that's where a lot of the cough syrups and things come from. Got some almost at the top of this one. And my only aloe that I still have left, and with several freezes now, it's still hanging in there and looking pretty good. Some years it blooms. I have some little dogwoods over there. That's what the pink leaves is. And then right here in the front is a beautiful shaped little cedar. Remember, if it's Monday or Tuesday, they're predicting a, another freeze for us. Christmas morning or the morning after, but it'll be what it'll be. There's one or two of the reds right at the gate out there. Here's one. So, like I said, I hadn't... They call this a blue, but for myself, I just don't see it. But it is a beautiful flower, whatever it's called. It is a camellia. I'm not sure if I've said that with any of the walking while ago. There, was, there it is. Another pretty bud there that'll be open probably by Christmas. A 
I can say this one, it has more red on the top of it than it does down. There's some down in here that is the peppermint that I had bought it for. And then I'd saved a few seed or seedlings that had come up. And one of those over in the little lot is a peppermint by seed, which I was told wouldn't happen. And I don't know if I'm going to get a good picture of this one or not. Let's see if I can get up here. And... If I remember right, it's like nine colors. And it may be another one because the uh, tea hibiscus out there does bloom. And it has a, a different than any of the others. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do with this cedar wood out here. I know I'm not going to waste any of it if I could. I made some little bundles look like smudge sticks for my neighbor. to. He has one of the uh, soapstone line heaters. And uh, you're not supposed to burn some of the things that I can burn in mine. Fat lighter for one that I start my fire with. And so anyway, I made him up some bundles to see about not having to cut kindling. Lemongrass is looking rough right there, but part of it is it hasn't been watered since I turned the water lines off out here. These are the little blooms there. You can see some of them that it's still blooming, and this is the, the tea hibiscus. I sure would hope that maybe Right now, I don't see any seed pod that are trying to set. And I guess, talk about butt calling and all that and dialing a phone. I reckon I have been over and, and killed my YouTube channel. So, don't got no music no more. Anyway, there's there's three over here of the actual, and I've never learned to pronounce it, and I'm not going to try, but there's three there and then one here, and this is of a different variety of the Camellia 4T. And the oleanders that just sat there during the winter, but they'll have some flowers come spring. And then this was another one of the lemongrass. And we'll see what it does. That over there is a clump of the Mexican petunia. There are several lemongrass here and some more down at the next mailbox. That's mailbox for my little lot over there. And we'll check the mail and go back in. Y'all have a blessed evening.